Four Temperaments, Wikipedia Audio The Four Temperament Theory is a proto-psychological theory that suggests that there are four fundamental personality types, sanguine, choleric, melancholic, and phlegmatic. Most formulations include the possibility of mixtures between the types where an individual's personality types overlap and they share two or more temperaments. The Greek physician Hippocrates incorporated the four temperaments into his medical theories as part of the ancient medical concept of humorism, that four bodily fluids affect human personality traits and behaviors. Later discoveries in biochemistry have led modern medical science to reject the theory of the four temperaments, although some personality type systems of varying scientific acceptance continue to use four or more categories of a similar nature. Temperament theory has its roots in the ancient four humors theory. It may have origins in ancient Egypt or Mesopotamia but it was the Greek physician Hippocrates who developed it into a medical theory. He believed certain human moods, emotions, and behaviors were caused by an excess or lack of body fluids, blood, yellow bile, black bile, and phlegm. Next, Galen developed the first typology of temperament in his dissertation De Temperamentis, and searched for physiological reasons for different behaviors in humans. He classified them as hot-slash-cold and dry-slash-wet taken from the four elements. There could also be balance between the qualities, yielding a total of nine temperaments. The word temperament itself comes from Latin temperare, to mix. In the ideal personality, the complementary characteristics or warm cool and dry moist were exquisitely balanced. In four less ideal types, one of the four qualities was dominant over all the others. In the remaining four types, one pair of qualities dominated the complementary pair, for example, warm and moist dominated cool and dry. These latter four were the temperamental categories Galen named sanguine, choleric, melancholic, and phlegmatic after the bodily humors, respectively. Each was the result of an excess of one of the humors that produced, in turn, the imbalance in paired qualities. History and Development In his Canon of Medicine, Persian polymath Avicenna extended the theory of temperaments to encompass emotional aspects, mental capacity, moral attitudes, self-awareness, movements, and dreams. Nicholas Culpepper described the humors as acting as governing principles in bodily health, with astrological correspondences, and explained their influence upon physiognomy and personality. Culpepper proposed that, while some people had a single temperament, others had an admixture of two, a primary and secondary temperament. Immanuel Kant, Rudolf Steiner, Alfred Adler, Eric Attix, Eduard Spranger, Ernst Kretschmer, and Eric Fromm all theorized on the four temperaments and greatly shaped our modern theories of temperament. Hans Eysenck was one of the first psychologists to analyze personality differences using a psychostatistical method, and his research led him to believe that temperament is biologically based. The factors he proposed in his book Dimensions of Personality were neuroticism, the tendency to experience negative emotions, and extroversion, the tendency to enjoy positive events, especially social ones. By pairing the two dimensions, Eisenk noted how the results were similar to the four ancient temperaments. Other researchers developed similar systems many of which did not use the ancient temperament names, and several paired extroversion with a different factor, which would determine relationship-slash-task orientation. Examples are disc assessment, social styles, and a theory that adds a fifth temperament. One of the most popular today is the Kiersey temperament sorter, 
whose four temperaments were based largely on the Greek gods Apollo, Dionysus, Epimetheus, and Prometheus, and were mapped to the 16 types of the Myers-Briggs type indicator. They were renamed as artisan, guardian, idealist, and rational. Rather than using extroversion and introversion and task-slash-people focus, like other theories, KTS mapped the temperaments to sensing and intuition with a new pair category, cooperative and pragmatic. When role informative and role directive, and finally E-slash-I are factored in, the 16 types are attained. Finally, the interaction styles of Linda V. Behrens combines directing and informing with E-slash-I to form another group of styles which greatly resemble the ancient temperaments, and these are mapped together with the Kirsi temperaments onto the 16 types. Modern medical science has rejected the theories of the four temperaments, though their use persists as a metaphor within certain psychological fields. Most individuals tend to have aspects of their personality that identify with each of the four temperaments. However, usually there are two primary temperaments that are displayed at a significantly higher level. An individual could be any combination of the following four temperaments. The personality type of sanguine, is described primarily as being enthusiastic, active, and social. Sanguines tend to be more extrovert and enjoy being part of a crowd, they find that being social, outgoing, and charismatic is easy to accomplish. Individuals with this personality have a hard time doing nothing and engage in more risk-seeking behavior. Choleric individuals tend to also be more extrovert. They are described as being independent, decisive, and goal-oriented. They enjoy being in charge of a group since they have many leadership qualities as well as ambition. Choleric personalities also have a logical and fact-based outlook on the world. These individuals tend to be analytical, detail-oriented, and are deep thinkers and feelers. They are introverted and try to avoid being singled out in a crowd. A melancholic personality leads to self-reliant individuals, who are thoughtful, reserved, and often anxious. They often strive for perfection within themselves and their surroundings, which leads to tidy and detail-oriented behavior. A phlegmatic individual tends to be relaxed, peaceful, quiet, and easygoing. They are sympathetic yet try to hide their emotions. Phlegmatic individuals also are good at generalizing ideas or problems to the world and making compromises. Four Fundamental Personality Types When the concept of the temperaments was on the wane, many critics dropped the phlegmatic, or defined it purely negatively, such as the German philosopher Immanuel Kant, as the absence of temperament. In the five temperaments theory, the classical phlegmatic temperament is in fact deemed to be a neutral temperament, whereas the relationship-oriented introvert position traditionally held by the phlegmatic is declared to be a new fifth temperament. In Waldorf education and anthroposophy, the temperaments are believed to help understand personality. Christian writer Tim Lehay has attempted to repopularize the ancient temperaments through his books. Writer Florence Littauer describes the four personality types in her book Personality Plus. At the end of the 18th century, Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach composed the trio sonata in C minor sanguineus et melancholicus WQ 161-1. In 1946 George Balanchine choreographed a ballet he titled The Four Temperaments, set to music he commissioned from Paul Hindemith. The music, and thus the ballet, is in five parts, a theme and four variations titled Melancholic, Sanguine, Phlegmatic, and Choleric. 
Emil Zola consciously employed the four temperaments in Therese Requin. Sanguine Choleric The Danish composer Carl Nielsen S. Symphony No. 2, OP 16 entitled The Four Temperaments is structured upon the four temperaments. Melancholic Phlegmatic Decline in popularity Contemporary writings Cultural references Warmer 40,000's Maur Nival employs the four temperaments to inspire each of the four members' personalities.